So just to start, first off, <coughs> apologies for the quality of this video. Um, still new to this YouTubing lark, so yeah, apologize for that. Um, in this video, I just wanted to sh go through actually how I blow up the tent. I know people sort of talk about using normal pumps, air pumps, things like that. I actually cheat. I use a scuba bottle, um, and I'll show you how quick <laughs> it is to power a tent with a scuba bottle. Makes it <coughs> effortlessly, and it goes up in no time. Um, so what I actually use is this three litre uh, pony bottle, um, which um, is just filled with compressed air. Um, currently it sits at about 200 bar of pressure in there. Now that it takes about 190 bar of that three litres to fill this, to fill the tent and the front porch. So, and there's that leaves a little bit left over. Um, I could get it higher, I mean it's a 232 bar pressure tank so I could pump it up to that if needed. Now they do cost a couple of quid to fill in a dive shop so you might want to speak to a local dive shop to find out how much they charge for a fill um, but again once you see how quick it goes up a couple of quid for extra on a camping trip and you see the ease especially if it's raining um, it's probably worth its while. Um, I'm a bit biased because I don't actually pay for that fill. Um, as a diver I've got numerous tanks like this which are 12 litres and normally when I get those filled which is quite regularly I take a little bit off the top to top this up and sort of a little bit off the top of two or three tanks it makes no difference to the tank pressure for my diving and then I have pretty much almost a, a full cylinder to use. Now how I actually made the connection on this this is called a first stage which is um, for you connecting to your scuba tank here and then I've got an old what's called regulator hose which I've cut off the end and just wrapped some ta uh, tape around to thicken it out and all I do is I attach that to the tank and with on here I just simply push the hose into the grey hose like so to create a connection and then slowly turn the tank on and I can measure the pressure going in um, and then as it gets close I slow it down and then put and then finally do a little bit of a top up nice and slow but again you'll see how fast I can get up the tent in in the next video um, just want to highlight a couple of extra bits now this is what's called an inflator hose which is normally from the BCD jacket now this is quite clever is that you can buy this adapter uh, this is actually for inflating car tires so that plugs into the end there I don't know if I can do it one-handed it's a bit, bit tricky but I sh let me just put that down there pull it back clips in so now that is clipped in and literally unbolt that hose bought that back in I can now inflate a car tire now inflating a car tire again takes seconds with one of these bottles I mean five or six seconds and it's up to pressure it's open close open close double check the pressure and it's up there now that's quite good if you have a puncher especially if you're on a on a trailer or on a car especially if you're if you have to pull over in a dangerous place like the motorway um, you can quickly get out rather than having to worry about changing the tire cord in the AA and being stuck there for longer longer than there the more dangerous it is quickly pull this out pump up the tire and that should get you to um, somewhere safe um, if not it'll get you further down where you can pull over again fill it and hopefully get off the motorway as quickly as possible um, with that said, if you are stopping the side of the motorway, follow the normal safety procedures, which there's loads to go through. This is just giving you guys a highlight of what you can do. Um, in my next video, I will then show you how quickly it is when I've put up the tent.